Yo, what's up? Uh, today I want to show you guys the mag rims. So this is the magnesium. It's called mag 52, 19 inch. So I showed you guys before and uh, today I want to talk about the noise level because uh, Mega Yule who sells them, they, uh, they claim that these mag rims, I just washed the car by the way, that's why it looks so weird. Uh, they claim that these rims um, are, how do you put this, quieter than regular rims because they flex a little bit and they absorb uh, noise, vibrations. Um, I have a different uh, result. Yeah, that's basically what happens. So, but before, before we start, man, I just have to adore the looks of it. Really, man forged magnesium it brings out the red calipers in the tesla model 3 performance so i like the looks of it look at this okay let me see maybe it's not the best light condition let me try to adjust here so you see better oh yeah kind of like that huh? Huh? huh do you like that huh i was about to say do you like that shit but some people, ah, Bjorn, you say shit too often. Well, I don't give a shit, huh? Do you like that shit? <laughs> but now, let's take it for a spin. We are now driving, and you probably hear that my voice is slightly different than, than before, right? So, it's because I have switched off the, what's it called again? High pass filter, or low cut filter. And what is that thing? Well, it will uh, cut off the lowest frequencies because many times it's unwanted. Uh, I shoot video a lot when I'm inside the car. So by default, I actually put it always to be with the low cut filter. So you probably heard it. Uh, well, actually you can hear it now versus usually uh, you will hear less of this rumbling, but I switch it off now so you can hear the, ooh, uh, okay, okay. So you can hear all the rumbling, but you will also hear that um, the, the whole camera is doing auto gain. So if I stop talking, the gain will adjust up and you will hear more background noise. And then when I s start speaking, it will adjust down. So that is a little bit confusing sometimes, but if I use, um, we call it, uh, if I switch off the auto gain, then I might not get the right uh, level or it might be clipping. So that's why we just keep the gain on. But let me show you now. We're going to drive now on the highway. It's an 80 zone here, and I will show you the rumbling and how it works. And so Mega Yule, they claim that these rims, they s absorb noise. And I f actually feel it like that. Yes, I get the impression they, they do absorb noise compared to other, uh, let's say, uh, and the regular aluminum rims. But at a certain speed, usually at highway speed, between 90, 100, 110 something, they would create this, this humming, some kind of, it's some kind of acoustic um, based on, what do you call it again? Um, trying to think of the English name. It's called resonance in Norwegian. I think it's called resonance in English. So basically it hits some kind of frequency on the rim, I believe, because we, I tried everything with Mega Yule. We tried different tires even. I tried a whole bunch of stuff, uh, tried different tire pressure. And we found out that Mega Yule, they drill the hole in the, in the hub uh, center a little bit wider. And then they put this spacer, this, um, what's it called again? <laughs> Trying to think of those names, man. Some plastic spacer. And that seems to reduce this humming noise or this, this acoustic noise, whatever. So that's the, the closest we got really. Uh, but still after, still after the, the adding of the spacer, we still have this, this humming noise that comes and goes. And I've heard this in other cars too. Not every car, but I heard it in lots of other cars, especially the IEP seems to have this, this humming noise that is not directly uh, compared to the, the rumble noise you can hear now. So I will show you now that this, this tarmac is quite noisy because it's in Norway. We have this in Sweden and, and uh, Finland also. So it's because they use studded tires and the, 
the compound of the of the asphalt well the tarmac needs to be slightly different they need to put more rocks in here and you can actually hear the difference between now and when they go off centers i'm going to go a little bit back and forth so you can hear the difference I don't know if you guys heard that, but um, if I went off the usual track where all the other cars drive, where the tarmac is worn out, then you hear the difference. And this is, of course, the weakness of Tesla because the suspension on the Model 3 is not as good as the Model, especially the Model S and X Raven. Those new dampers, they, they seem to soak vibration and noise better. And also, of course, if you have an e-tron or uh, EQC, there's something about the, the dampers. I believe it's the, the magic is in the in the suspension and of course also in uh, in soundproofing and the wheel arches. But this car has the extra soundproofing from uh, Beat Componente, but it doesn't seem to help that much. You have to go to the source of the problem, which is rumbling from the road. Yeah. But so what can I say? I think I heard it there. Okay, I'm gonna shut up for a little bit and let you guys listen. So you know that sound, that humming sound you hear, almost resembles a fossil engine. It's weird, right? I mean, for you guys who don't know, I used to drive fossil cars. I used to have a diesel and a gasoline or whatever. So that humming sound you might have heard when I shut up is some kind of acoustic frequency that occurs at around 85, 95 kilometers per hour. It comes and goes. And if you have a good ear, you can hear that that's not the same sound as you hear from the road surface. It's a different kind of sound. So we drove through the, the, the smooth asphalt and you heard that humming. And I, when I tried the 20 inch Tesla rims, which are freaking heavy, but they have the acoustic foam and uh, Michelin uh, Pilot Sport 4S. Those were actually very silent to be 20 inch. I was surprised that they are actually more silent than the, the 19 inch, but they don't beat the 18 inch. So yeah, what should I say? Um, it seems like this kind of humming occurs in, the, in this, this type of the, the mag rims. And then my theory is that those Tesla rims are so heavy and they are like acoustically they are dead you know just like when you, you when you design speakers you want MDF uh, or you want the cherry uh, wood right because there, it has some properties they are heavy and they are dead and that might be the the case for uh, for Tesla's heavy rims uh, plus the foam whatever that you have in those and then as for this, I mean, can you live with it? I'm not sure uh, if I can live with it. I actually want to go for 18 inch, but they don't look as good as the, those 19 inch I have now. So, <laughs> But I want to try 18 inch mag rims. Maybe I'm lucky and that, that, that frequency is different on those 18 inch mag rims. 
and in general I tried the 18 inch last year it was an OXO rims they look horrible but I also think they were heavy from what Mega Yule told me they are heavy and maybe that was a good thing <laughs> so yeah that's my finding so far I tested a lot we tested a whole bunch of tires rims whatever I also tried some winter tires Frigus what they were they were very quiet but I will test them uh, next winter I guess yeah more more info about that one but you know yeah I could just sit in my car and talk about how noisy they are or how they are but this time I want to take it on a spin so you guys can get the impression how it is but in, in, in the city here, as long as we drive slow, then we don't get that resonance that we get uh, on the highway. So I remember when I first tested these rims, I heard it and I was like, oh, these are quiet. Uh, but then when I measure them, every time I measure the noise, I always go a place near Klufta and I always drive on highway speed, you know, 80, 100, 120. And that's where you hear the noise. So. For me, um, I'm not too satisfied with this. I don't think I can live with this because I hear them. But if you don't hear it, <laughs> then, <laughs> then it's good for you, right? But the instrument that I use doesn't lie. So it tells me that these, these exact same wind run tires on the mag rims create more noise than the, what is called turbine X. I think they are, whether well, they're not magnesium, they are aluminium. Yeah. So maybe I go back to those, but I, yeah, I want to go back to 18 inch. Yes. So anyway, if you guys have something you want me to test, for example, uh, consumption, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how to test consumption. It's really hard to test consumption because the, the weather might change during the day and so on. Uh, and I have to use the exact same tire, preferably, or at least use wind run tires. We have have two I mean two set ready these ones and then the one on the turbine X and then swap and see but when it comes to consumption I believe that it's not that much different uh, because you are mostly driving constant speed but if you accelerate deaccelerate a lot then that might make a difference yeah put it on a park so I think that's gonna be it for now let me see Texas burger, oh yeah. Well, they had a nicer sign here before, yeah. <laughs> Folkets kebab now, yeah. So, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.